Hey guys, it's RLC321 Fantastic Plastic back again with part two, three, three, yes, three of our Blade Liga uh, Jaeger. No, not Blade Liga. Bla Liga, Liga Jaeger. Liga Zero Jaeger. 172 scale by Black Knight. So, here we go. This is all the parts for the neck. Okay, everything that you see here. And we're going to start over this way. Let's move his head out of the way so we don't get him knocked over. Actually, you need to pull that over. So, first off, we're going to get these two pieces. A14, pointing that away. We're going to get this PC part and it, the hole points upwards into the hole. And this, the curved bit, points towards the back. Push it in there. Okay. Let's get it straightened out. And then these two join together. Again, I'm going to just snibble off these pieces here, just the tips. Okay, and then clean out this hole because there's a little bit of flash on there that we don't need. There we go, and then we line everything up and push it, push it in. Now, because these PC parts are a bit of a pain, I need something to poke it. Don't again behave yourselves. I'm talking about something like this that I can move the PC part with. That's not going to work. Oh, yeah. I'll work with this one, though. Okay, that one's in. This one is a bit more of a, a pain. Uh, I don't really want to use these because this could end in sadness. There we go. There, there we go. That's better. Right. So that's now in, and then we've got these little tiny gold pieces which go into here extremely loosely. Because they do not want to go in at all. There we go. Obviously these are going to be nicely painted gold because the color gold that I got on here at the moment is okay but it's not great I'll show you what it looks like it's this not perfect but it's not it's not bad I mean it looks quite good against the black I have to admit it does look good against the black so now we've done that we need to get parts A11 and A 10 which are these two parts here and it looks like they just this just goes on where how the hell are you supposed to get that in there when you've got this great big massive thing here that's because I'm looking at it upside down this part needs to go at the bottom so it's going to go on this part here And one of these things is not exactly straight. But I can fix that a little bit later. Right, and then we get this then goes on the top of it that way. 
it's supposed to go on the top of it that way honestly at least that's what the instructions tell me to do doesn't want to but it's supposed to there we go that's in and don't worry it's still easy to get off again so yes yeah, so all, all good all good in the hood right and then that gets put into here now this I am going to just very carefully just snip some of the corners and this is just to make it easier for me to bring it in and out and so it faces this way because that's the only place where the where it, the mark is to put it on and then you just push it in like so then we get da, 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 da. A A one here, which is going throwing it, which goes onto this part, like that. Yes, like that. And this, because it's all the same colour, I can paint that anyway. And I, I might take it off and glue it, but we'll see. And then this goes on the underside here. And this is quite loose anyway underneath there, so I'm not too worried about it. Is that right? Is it? Yes. So have those two and then those two pointing that way. Yep, yeah, that's correct. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So we've got that bit. So then we're going to go on to our, one of our colour pieces. So which is the uh, brown, believe it or not. Let's cut off this flash. Well, I say cut, not really cutting it off. I'm just flattening it out. And yes, flattening it in is a word. And I say it's a word because I made it up. Right, so if we go to the, this is the bottom half. So we put it in, and it looks like the the rounded bit goes towards the bottom, so it goes in like so. So the flat, the flat bit is at the top. According to the instructions, anyway, I can only go by the instructions, and that's what it seems to say. And then this, oh dear things all over the shop gets clipped into place so let's snip these off now don't do these 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 don't snip those bits off because you're going to need those to hold the PVC part in place and then that looks like it should fall into place this side's got a gap though so let's figure out what's causing that one It could be that this just needs widening up a little bit. So let's do that. I do that with all of them actually. Just give me a bit of a bit of a twist of Rooney with the old scalpel. <laughs> and that should widen them up enough. I think I know what it is. Right. You know I said not to cut these, I don't know if you can see, but if you look closely, 
You see that there? There you got a bit of a ridge on the top of these. Uh, these here. We need to cut those that ridge off. Because that is what's stopping it from sitting properly. There we go. Just like that. Not like that, but just like that. So again, this can be glued. Glue together, no, no problems. Right, so once we've done that, we then need to put these two together. Now again, I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna put these together because it's just all one piece anyway. I am not gonna put these together because they don't want to go in and it could be because of the fatness of those so let's open up the airways and this is a, another way of doing it is just by twisting your scalpel blade in, inside the hole and then that allows it to go in this right okay so we have this and it goes that way into here in these and these pegs this way like that okay and then these guys just fit on the back fit on the back there so then we have that piece done so we whoops we shall put that aside there next we're going on to here so we've got this piece which is P10 and if we start off with this piece actually the it's got like a hexagon curve bottom on it this PC part we put that in first and then we put this again same color so I'm not worrying about taking it apart but what I may need to do is Let's see if we can get it on first. Come on. But you know you want to. There you go. And nope. Doesn't want to. Doesn't want to so. What I'm going to do. I'm having quite a bit more success with doing this. It's a lot less fiddly than the other one doing it the other way there. and now we should still not fit so if it's still not fitting which side is it not fitting on so we're gonna have to just take a little snivel of these off. There we go. Now we'll try it again. See, this is all the. There we go. Perfect ish. There you go. This is all the fun and games you get to play with when you're dealing with bootlegs because nothing literally nothing fits right but what what can you say you know I was looking at this kit on Amazon and eBay 170 pound they want for this it's like screw that I can't afford that kind of money so again we're gonna use the this is going on the bottom side like that with the poly cap and I'm not gonna waste time by checking I'm just gonna snip
snip all of these okay and should go in fine now One end doesn't want to play with me. So we shall give it a little bit of a twisty cuffs. Just a little bit. There we go, like that. That's in. There we go. That's the ticket. So now I've made it a bit too loose, but that's fine. It's fine. Totally fine. Yep. Yes, indeedy. So then we get our part eight that we just done. Angle that downwards. Get our part nine. Push this into here like that. I'm not pushing it all the way in yet because I've got a funny feeling. I7. Which one's I7? Are you I7? Are you? Which colour's I? Yep, you I7. Okay. So then, with this, looks like I go that away. This should. In theory, is this I7? So those go in there. Push it together in there like that. Okay, yes. All right. So that's that. And then it's asking for this bad boy to get put on there. But again. Because this is going to be two different colours, I definitely need to do this so I can take it apart. And let's say it's quite tricky doing it. I don't even know how much you can actually see, to be fair, because it's like, because I've got a completely different camera angle. I'm having to put the camera over here instead of over here because there's no room over here to put the camera. Ouchie. Also, <laughs> warning, whenever you're doing anything with your scalpel blade, make sure you, you, you keep safe with it. I nearly cut myself there. Right, and then that should just press on like so, which it kind of does. I say kind of because I still it's still not 100%, but as I say once everything's all in place and glued, it should be fine. Because I think then this should be able to pull out and pull in. I think I think that's what the idea of this is going to be. So that's done. So we put that to the side. Next we get C2, which is this. And C11, which is this. And then it looks like that just goes on to there. Right. The only reason I'm cutting these is actually, no, I don't need to cut those. Let's just make these holes a bit bigger. There you go. There. 
make those holes a bit bigger and that goes on the top here because uh, and then, then obviously I'm gonna take it apart and glue it a bit better and because I still need to sand off some of the bits but that's fine then we get this Wait, I'm, I'm missing a piece, isn't I? Yep, I'm missing a piece. Uh, C21. C21. C. C21. Yep, here it is. C21. There we go. That's the piece I was missing. So, C21, there are we, so we got, where do you go? Did you sit on there? Really? Just sits on there? Let's put it near the back, because that looks like roughly where it's telling me to put it anyway. Let's open up these holes. C21, then we get this part with the flat bit, oh it tells you how to put it in anyway, it only goes in that one way, and then this, yeah it tells you to, to make sure this is moved all the way over to the back end anyway, and then, that's in there, okay. And we don't put this away, do we? No, we don't. No, so we can put this to the side because that's done. Next, we are going to need this part here, which is E19, PC, PC1F. That goes into there. And then this goes into those. And again, I'm just going to enlarge the holes. And then, then that should get pushed down. Yep. Yeah. Not great, but it'll do now. It'll do. So then we get this part here and this part here, which is C1 and B8. It's got a little notch that that lines up into. So we just make sure that we're in there. Then we have a poly cap. doesn't matter which way it goes so that can just go in there and then this part flat way facing towards you goes into there like so okay yep I'm thinking what you're putting down let's bring this over here so then we get part number 11 which is this here that we just done previously, that goes into there, like that. Okay, good. Next page. Next page. So then we get our other piece, put our poly cap inside here, and then we join these two together. Okay, and make sure that's in going into place there, like so. Okay, so side elevation, make sure that's flat and straight. That's pulled up there, that's pulled there. Okay. Ah, wait, no, the grey part processes to press to position. 
Oh, right, so I need to push this in. Like that. Okay, so you need to push this part in. Right, okie dokie. Gotcha. Then we get this part. And that should go onto here, but I'm going to again do my usual trimming off a little bit. Just a little, not a lot. Oh, that, careful. That one nearly went in my eye. So be very careful when you do this because you don't want any bits of plastic going in your eyeballs. And I'm just going to trim a bit off the top of this one. You get back here, you get money. Only problem with having a shed is I'm having to share it with a few ants. And I'm trying to get, get them every time they come near me. So, that should now all fit. That should now all fit. In theory, everything should. Right, there we go. Oh dear. That is tight. Yep, yep, okay, okay. So, let's see about taking some plastic out from inside here as well then. Okay, shall we? Do that there. Because for some reason this is, this is very, very tight. safe side <laughs> right and we try that again there we go that's better right? Right, so that goes on there like that then we put that to the side we then get B7 now we get this part first, which is B13. You've got the poly cap. And it's telling us to remember to the, the poly cap. We got that. Hang on. No, we can't, still can't see it. Hang on. Right. Right, poly cap there. Just those longer bits that are flat at the bottom, they go at the bottom. Okay, so that goes down like this. It's supposed to go down like that. Come on. Are you being a bit of a awkward zone, sir? There we go. There we go. I think that polycap was just a little bit too big for it. There we go. So now we've got that. It's then telling me to get this part and put this over here. So the poly cap end goes there, and then we squeeze these down. Okay. That's good because I don't need to take this apart. I'll just gently lift the edges up and I'll put glue on. So that'll be fine. Then then oh okay yeah then we get this part here that angles downwards and towards the back end this gets pushed into these holes here so are you supposed to go all the way in there I think you are just take it back out and then we drop it in from the top 
which is how I think it once should be going anyway. And there we go. Kind of. Nope. No, nope, gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme. Right, let's. Trim this a little bit. Okay. Now let's see. And that should go to there, to there. There we go. Almost, almost got it. Oh, that was that's why. Dagnamit. There's a little bit of a nub on here that was just a bit too much. That's just too much for it. Okay. So now then, in theory, it should go in just about correct. There we go. Yeah, that was a hard one. Behave yourselves. Well, you, you've got dirt in your mind, you guys. Really do. <coughs> yeah, you're right now. Um, then I get this part, which then gets put onto here. I think this should be easy to come off looking at it. Yeah, that's going to be easy to come off, so that's fine. And then, so we get this part that we just done. Yeah, this this here. So we're going to have this go into here, like so. Balls. No, that got me. I can't remember how that went on now. Was it that way? Nope, it was this way. Was it that way? Oh, piss. See, this is what happens when things are loose. I can't remember how that goes on now. Hang on. So, P7. Right. Okay. onto here like that that don't seem right though unless I do it this way around and that still don't seem right how the freaking hell did I get this on here this is definitely not that way Right, okay. I'm gonna have to go back a bit. Let's have a little look, see. So we're going on here. Oops. So this point in this way. That there. to do it 
and then this goes back onto here like so All right there we go All right we're back I'm back I'm back All right so then this part also goes onto there as well really so that goes onto there and that goes onto there does it? Okay, maybe it does. Yeah, it does. So that's that done. Now these are all parts of the neck all done. It's not obviously not fully done yet because we can't fit it on, but I think this will go on to here eventually. But I need to do the it's telling me to do the body next, but I'm going to do that in another video. So these need to be just put to the side for now, including the head. And there we go. This is this is pretty much what we've accomplished today. Well, on this video anyway. And then this here. Then I got a lovely choice of trying to taking it all apart again soon. So anyway, guys, I'm, this is it for this video. The next video is going to be the body. So I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one, which will be fairly soon. Uh, and I'm, I might release these these videos two a day or something like that, even though I'm, I might finish this the, this build on, in one day or one evening. I think I'll spread the videos out, out every other every couple of days. I think, yeah, and I'll probably do that. Yeah. To make it look like I've got content going out there, that's what it's going to be. <laughs> Instead of hanging, letting people hang on, waiting for me. So, guys, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. I'll hope to see you in the next one. So, you take care of yourselves. Bye bye now.